Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a preview for Drunk or Dead 2 Prologue. And there's a little bit of a cinematic start, so I'm just going to let you all enjoy that. Uh, I will tell you that I got a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program to review this game, but this is not a review. This is just me doing a preview, just gameplay. Just want to be silly, done some serious reviews. I don't want to do oh, that here, Las so Vegas. I think this it is perfect. Everything. Great views, fun, entertainment, love. Everyone could find something for themselves there. And we partied like there was no tomorrow. Who would have thought that our party till dawn lifestyle would end up being the salvation from the zombie apocalypse? Hi, Bella. You won't believe I met my boyfriend there. Hey, Three o'clock in the afternoon and you're already fucking drunk. Yeah. Vegas, baby, Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Uh, I believe if you press trigger, you can skip through this. So don't do that because you probably want to see the cinematics. It's pretty cool. Anyone who was even slightly drunk managed to survive. And everyone else turned into zombies. Humans, animals, even birds. Now everyone is fighting for alcohol and survival. And to stand up against the creatures, you need cool cars and weapons. But the problem is that alcohol supplies are dwindling, and the zombies are multiplying. We need to do something, and do it right now. Stop your dang thinking. She's been gobbled up. Let's skedad. So you can choose one of four characters. You can choose Alice, who has the double handguns. Come on, baby. Uh, Rodriguez, who I played a little bit. You can get a shotgun and an assault rifle. Come on, baby. You have Harbor, who has a pistol and another assault rifle. <laughs> and then you have Julia, who has the revolver and looks like an SMG there. So obviously we're going to choose Julia. And we're going to click on Reset hero progress because i actually just i just started real quick and, and quit uh each of them have four it seems like they on, each have baby. four unique on, uh <laughs> opening cinematics for each of them so depending on the character that you pick you're gonna get a different little start to the story uh for those of you who played drunk or dead the original you know what this is this is a arcade wave shooter you drink alcohol because that's what's keeping you from turning into a zombie and obviously when you drink alcohol, you feel the ill effects of alcohol. You start seeing double, it makes it hard to shoot, but you gotta drink alcohol to stay alive and you gotta shoot and get different weapons and explosions and all kinds of crazy zombies. I played the original and I liked it, but I know it's not for everyone because you know basically this is a 360 or 180, whatever you wanna call it, a wave shooter. I would say it's 360 because zombies do really come from all around, although you know usually in a 180 area. And, uh, you know, it's good for what it is. But if you don't like wave shooters, obviously this is not the game for you. But let's go ahead and let's just start again. This is not a review. I normally do serious reviews, but I'm just wanting to do a silly gameplay because, you know, I've done too many serious reviews recently. I just want to have silly fun. And I think this game is perfect for that. So let's go ahead and do Julia. And I saw a little bit of the opening cinematic. Don't press uh, trigger because you're going to skip through it. You don't want to skip through it because... It's pretty hot, so we're gonna do medium difficulty and let's watch the cinematic for Julia. And yeah, she's a stripper. All right, I'm in love with a stripper. Damn shift finally be over. That's how it is every day. So obviously, I'm an expert pole dancer. Y'all may not know this about Fast Lawyer, but yeah, what? making that extra money. Wait, what virus? My side job. Gotta pay the bills. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Turn into a zombie. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, you don't see the reflection. The reflection should have her blood. Yeah, we do. Let's get out of here. Alright, so that was the opening cinematic. Do you want to come sit with me? Now I did change, I'm an RTX 3080, I did have to change the quality preset to medium because on high I was getting uh, not consistent performance. Let's see how it does on medium though. So let's go ahead 
And let's let's start. Oh man, this is so it is point and click interactions, and I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I forgot how to do it. Is what's going on. <laughs> So you have to uh, move your joystick. That's how you get the laser. So this is the tutorial, basically. You just drink. And here's your alcohol meter and your uh, health as well. And you start seeing... If, if you're seeing double, that's because I'm drinking alcohol. <laughs> and that's part of the difficulty of this game. Do you really want to be the loser who dies first outside? And you just got to be sure you have plenty of alcohol. And shoot. And you basically you, you raise your weapon up and then you put it down to reload. Obviously, it's hard to hit the target when you're seeing double. Okay, oh, so just put it in your holster. I wasn't even paying attention to the tutorial because it's all, you know, because obviously you're seeing double, so it's hard to read. But yeah, we, we, we just need to do this quick tutorial. And obviously, you can change the. And it's just hard to see the target when you're seeing double. Now you can't you can actually two hand the weapon, but it's not it's not intuitive really, and you can put it on your back as well. So there we go. So let's just start the game. Uh, I probably shouldn't have reset the progress because I really didn't want to do the tutorial for the let's play, but it is what it is. And let's just go ahead and let's just start the level again. Let's hopefully we can do it right this time. So this uh, takes you to the next stage. And obviously you unlock stuff as you go along. So let's just go to the first stage here. Let's start. And we're going to do this first part of the Las Vegas tour. If we can actually get this to work. Okay, there we go. So obviously the, I think the UI could be just a little bit more, more smooth and polished. Well, and just... look who showed up. Have you drunk all the alcohol yet? So again, this yeah, is your alcohol meter. And Check it out. I think you definitely want to one hand weapons because otherwise it's hard to drink alcohol at the same time. And you need to keep that alcohol up to stay alive. Um, we're, we're empty. So we're going to have to. Uh, I am playing standing. Oh yeah, thank you. Get these out of the way. What are you doing? You trying to screw me over? And again, the alcohol goes down so quickly. Just gotta be careful. What the? What the hell? <laughs> it's turned into ukulele. Am I, am I gonna die now because of this ukulele? How do you? Okay, yeah. Don't grab the ukulele. Whatever you do, don't grab it. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I thought the ukulele was gonna do a ton of damage. Look who showed up. 
Don't grab the ukulele. Again, if the screen looks all blurry or double image, that's because I'm drunk. It's just a normal Monday night for me, really, though. Just a normal Monday yeah. night, really. Check it out. And I'll yeah, definitely want to get our booze meter up. Because yeah, obviously you want to fight the... Let's go! You don't want any alcohol to go to waste, though? I and mean, I have no idea where that one is. Ooh, that didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Oh, I need to get more alcohol. Definitely need to get more alcohol. I'm not drinking enough alcohol. Ah, uh, here's some tequila. All right. Let's go. We're doing pretty well. I think we did pretty well with our tequila. And yeah, those guys take a lot of bullets to kill. All right, now we get our special weapon here. Yeah, come get some. We haven't used our shoulder weapon. I'll, I'll choose that next. Let's go! Drunk or dead, yes! I'm surprised it still has bullets. I'm, I'm expecting it to... to run out of bullets at any moment. Uh oh, something's happening. Something's happening. Oh no. Did I did I make it through the round? Did I survive? We we made it? Oh. Alright. 
Not good, but not terrible. All right. <laughs> Uh, so let's go back uh, again. I, I'm not I'm not a big fan of this UI though, and I'm a little unsure what's the difference between these two uh, Hello Okay, so we passed that So where do we go now Where do we go now Okay, this here fun ride Let's... Don't forget to add the game to the wish list. Oh, is that it? Is that all there is? No. Oh, what is young this? Young man, there's no need to feel down. I said, young man, pick yourself off the ground. I, I said, said, young man, ah, oh, coming soon. Ah, oh, that's that such a tease. Okay, uh, I hope this prologue is free, because otherwise, uh, I won't be a bother. That's not a whole lot of content in the game. Uh, what's what's in here? Is this what is this? So like I said, this is a prologue. I don't know if it's gonna cost anything if it's gonna be free I hope it's free because it's it's a uh, very limited content uh, I don't know if on release we're gonna add more but it is just a prologue So I, I assume that's all there is but I did have fun uh, Just depending on the prices if I would uh, recommend it or not, but like I said, this is just a preview So I don't know the price. I can't really do a, an honest review uh, performance wasn't the best. Like I said, on my RTX 3080, I had to lower it to medium, but it seemed to be acceptable at, at on medium. And the gameplay is simple, but it's it's just stu silly, stupid fun, and I enjoyed that. <laughs> I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but honestly, I like to see more content because uh, I'm liking the cinematics. And you know, as long as the story keeps being that silly, as long as the levels are inventive. You know, and, you know, one thing I'd like to see, besides drinking alcohol, maybe, you know, some meth, some crack, some cocaine. I'm just saying. <laughs> Imagine shooting up or smoking a blunt while trying to shoot zombies as well. Uh, but, yeah, uh, overall, uh, you know, I think it's decent fun. And, like I said, it's just a preview, not a review. So, you know, take my video gameplay with a grain of salt because this is just a preview and it's a prologue. So, you know. But, you know, I had fun. I enjoyed it for what it is. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my Let's Play Drunk or Dead 2 Prologue. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.